I'm here at an old abandoned U.S. pipe building. I believe it's U.S. pipe. You can't go inside. It's, it's fenced off, but you can get right up next to the building. And there are a lot of broken out windows right next to the building where I can stick my camera inside. And uh, there's some spots over here in the back that I've scoped out. It's got some uh, nice little graffiti and things. Today I'm just going to walk around. I've got my Canon R6 Mark II. I've got the 70 to 200. I'm shooting all of this at f2.8 if it's inside. If I take a shot outside somewhere, it'll be longer than that. How you gentlemen doing? I'm still all right by yourself. I'm all right. Just talking to my camera. <laughs> um, so most of it's going to be f2.8, and then the auto ISO will just go where it goes. And uh, I, I've sort of called this photo shoot making something out of nothing because there's really nothing in here. I see another shot. So with this kind of photography, you can't necessarily look at the big picture. <clears throat> You've got to start looking for small details. You can't see it in this shot right here, but there is a beautiful picture of spilled paint on this wall that I'll get to in a minute. I'm just gonna look through this door here to see what I can see across the way. And again, at F2.8, I've got a pretty decent shutter speed. Like right here, I'm shooting at one over 80. And the ISO, let's see what the ISO went to. The ISO was only 160 because I can rest my camera on, on the ledges and sort of have it serve as its own tripod of sorts. And then I wanted to come over here and look at some designs here I may walk off camera, so just bear with me. Unfortunately, a lot of this is behind some really bright sunlight, and I don't know how it's going to turn out that way. But as I go along, any pictures worth looking at, that I deem are worth looking at at least, <laughs> I'll just put them up while we're taking pictures here. Need to back up a little bit for that one. That's one thing about the 7200. You can't really get close to much if you want a broader shot. That's much better. And again, that's, uh, that's 1 125th of a second at 100 ISO. So that worked out really nice. Now, when I came down here earlier, I was kind of scoping out some different places to take some shots from and a couple of them were here across the street and I want to get a picture of these windows here they're covered in pink paint and they have this really beautiful design to them where yeah, let's get all of that you get all that upper roof in there as well where's my focus at that's way up there let's come down here and the design of the broken windows is just as important as the color. And then I've got a spot right here with some, some uh, graffiti that I want to get as well. And I want to do this twice. I'm going to get this. If you know me, you know that I like to take these and warp them so that they're perfectly square. Um, and that's what I'll do with that window picture. Let's go back to looking inside. Now, in shots like this, in addition to looking at shapes or things that catch my eye. I'm also looking specifically at the light and shadow. 
where does the bright light hit and what does it do with the shadow? I've got a shot over here that might actually be better through a different window, but I'm going to adjust the EV down to minus two and really throw those shadows into the dark and let that one little thing in the light be my focus. I'll put that up here now. I just walked across the street to get a picture of some of the windows along here that I'll put up here as well. But I have this little uh, electrical outlet box here, bright and sunshiny in the window. And so I'm gonna see, I should be able to take this picture and throw all of that background into dark and just get that against the light. I'll put that shot up here now. And then I have another one sort of hanging off the wall here inside. At, at f2.8, I should be able to get it in focus and the wall out of focus. Now, two weeks ago, I would not have bothered to drive down here to do this. I just was not in the mood. But now, I think I'm back to quote uh, a movie legend. Let's come back here. Why is this? Oh, that's why. So I'm gonna get this window across the street. It's got a little graffiti. It's got the yellow fire hydrant. I think it looks great. It was very nice of this uh, driver to sort of wait on me. And then I've got another little spot right here with some graffiti, so let's just grab it. Now I have temporarily lost the light. The clouds came overhead. So I don't really have much light and dark going on here. Let's see what I do have. Yeah, I'm taking a lot of pictures here. I have absolutely no idea if any of them will be worth posting, but we'll see. Maybe I'll post them whether they're worth it or not, just so you can kind of get a good idea of what I'm looking at. Maybe that's the thing to do. So you can see a little bit of what I'm looking at here while I'm taking pictures. And I try to get sort of in some other areas here. And it turns out as I am taking pictures here. I've evidently stumbled upon a uh, homeless encampment. So I'm going to leave because I don't want to bother him. Well, that's all the video that I'm going to take today. I'm put my glasses down because the sun's really bright. 
That's all the video I'm going to take. I may walk around to the back side of the building and take a few more pictures. And if I do, I'll put any pictures I haven't posted already here at the end of the video. So thanks for watching this video about trying to get something out of nothing. We'll see you next time.